Oh, that's so weird. I don't have a fruit now. All right. Well, I think I'm pretty much ready for this. Now, if this goes well, I will do harder raids. Maybe I'll do an advanced raid. Probably Buddha too. All right, but we're going to see how this goes. I'm not extremely confident right now. I know Storm Blessing is pretty OP against enemy groups, but we're going to have to see how this goes because <laughs> I'm not sure if this is going to be possible. All right, but we're definitely going to do it. Also, I do have both of these things at 600 mastery. So like, this is like the best I'm going to get. Actually, I'd be better off putting on swan glasses, if I'm being honest, because that, that also gives me more cooldown too. Well, cooldown reduction, not more. I don't want more. Okay, okay. So the storm blessing is actually doing some work. I figured that it would be effective because of the multiple enemies, but there's no way you can just solo raids with just a sword and a gun, right? I'm taking a look at this. This storm blessing is carrying really hard. It's actually doing a pretty good job. When you get a group of them together, the damage goes like pretty off the charts. Wait, I think I'm onto something. That is a lot of damage. I took this flame user down to half HP. Oh, that is huge damage. I'm not going to use soul shaker because that's just going to push him away, which is not really what I want. Is this actually a good way to solo raids? There's no way, right? I, I, I can't recall when a gun or a sword alone has ever been able to solo any raids. That's kind of new. This is going to be a little bit troublesome because there's only two enemies I can arc the electricity between. Dude, if I get the full thousand frags from this, it's going to be nuts. Storm blessing is not a joke. I got these at 600 mastery too as well. So I'm making up for a lot of points that I wasn't able to put in there. I got to gather all of them though. It's good. If I'm going to do as much damage to the boss, that's going to be in my best interest. Ooh, not next to lava though. That lava has killed me quite a few times in previous videos. That did a good portion of health to the boss, but dang. Oh, uh, this we're kind of in trouble here. I might have to start using Soul Shaker, but I'm going to have to try to shoot him against objects so I don't waste time. Oof. I don't want him to go flying off. Keep gathering as many enemies as I can because I need that Storm Blessing to proc. That's going to be my best chance of dealing as much damage to the boss. Oof. There's no way this would work with Buddha raids, right? Oh, that would be impossible. Just a sword and a gun? I don't see how that would work. We could try it, though. I might have to go in with a different kind of build maybe i can go in with lay for more regeneration oh oh i wanted to hit both of them let me get both of them in a group oh wait we're gonna do it <laughs> what <laughs> with no way i'm gonna solo this entire raid with a sword and a gun that is <laughs> i've never seen that happen no way and we got the four thousand frags we just soloed an entire raid no fruit nothing just a gun and a sword with storm blessing Okay, well, there's a brand new way to solo raids. If you can somehow get a storm blessing on both of your weapons, you're pretty much set. Bye.